Sebastian. You're a four-time world champion. You've won 53 Grand Prix and you're the veteran of 257 Formula One races. So are you still hungry for more success? Yeah, otherwise I, I wouldn't be here. Obviously, it's uh, a lot of races, um, but uh, yeah, I go racing to win. And uh, obviously, it's a very exciting project, a new start, a new chapter also for me, for the entire team. So uh, very much looking forward to it. I think uh, winning is maybe a bit ambitious straight away, but uh, it's definitely everybody's goal. That's why we go racing. Lance, you were on the podium twice last season. You took your first pole position in Turkey. Does that give you confidence for this year? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's a, a new chapter with Aston Martin. Extremely exciting. Uh, you know, there's an incredibly talented group of people that have designed this racing car back at the factory, and you know, an incredibly talented group of people that are trackside. Um, you know, every weekend. So, just so excited for the season. Sebastian, how do you feel you can help the team develop? Well, obviously, since I'm a veteran, uh, <laughs> I've gathered so much experience, so hopefully that will help. But um, yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, I think uh, both of us, we are driving the car and um, to a certain degree also help driving the team. So I think, uh, you know, I've been part of this for, for a long time. But as I said, it's exciting to be part of a new team, new group of people, a lot of new faces. So there will be uh, a time for me to pick it up. I uh, hope to make that uh, very small and short but um, yeah I'm very much uh, looking forward to to get in the car uh, as early as tomorrow and uh, yeah finally start uh, the work on track. Sebastian what did you see in this team that made you want to drive for them? Well potential I think the team has uh, you know always been very strong in the past with uh, limited resources let's say now obviously the regulations and Formula One is changing a little bit and uh, you know with the new launch of Aston Martin coming back to Formula One sort of relaunching the team a lot of people joining a lot of talented people coming together um, to this already very I think uh, you know there's a great spirit in the team to this uh, good group already I think it's only an addition so I hope that I can contribute as well and uh, I think uh, if we if we keep sharing that uh, that joy and passion um, then uh, I think good things will follow. So Lance have you got yourself some goals for the new season? As a team, um, you know, I think third in the, in the Constructors' Championship is uh, a big goal. Uh, like I said, we missed out on that last year. We came so close and, um, you know, I, I truly believe that, uh, you know, we can, we can accomplish that this year, if not, if not more. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a, a big uh, goal. Um, of the team and, and from my side, you know, I want to improve as a driver. Um, last year, uh, scored a couple podiums. Um, I got my first pole position, which was um, which was awesome. And uh, I really, you know, I really want to build on that. There were some opportunities to, to even win some races last year that, unfortunately, uh, I just missed out on. Uh, looking back, Bahrain, Turkey, leading for um, a good uh, part of the race, and then. Um, Monza as well there was a, an opportunity there to um, to grab a victory so I think that really shows uh, the potential that we have going into this season and it's it's extremely exciting. Last question from me to you Sebastian what do you think of the new car? Well it's hard to, to honestly it's hard to know much by now obviously uh, we've been going through a lot of details uh, technical details what are the differences what are the challenges but we haven't driven the car yet so very much looking forward to tomorrow where we'll be uh, taking place in the car for the first time and then obviously uh, the weeks after uh, when the season finally kicks off so it's maybe uh, better to ask after if we've been <laughs> in the car but i think by now uh, i think the car looks 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 great i think uh, the color um, I think it's it's amazing. I think it's uh, it will be unique, and I think already it's one of the best looking cars on the grid. So um, can't wait to to see how it how it feels when when you're actually driving it. I know it's impossible to make predictions in Formula One, but could you give us an indication of your performance expectations? I wish there was a direct correlation between how a car looked and the performance of the car because we would be world champions. <laughs> um, but being realistic, I think we, we've, got, we've got big ambitions for the, for the team um, going forward. 
but from a, a realistic perspective, I think we're still going to be we're fighting in the in the top of the midfield. I think we're closing the gap on the on the top three. That's that's where we finished off last year. I think if we can keep taking steps forward in that direction, then we'll be doing we'll be going in the right right direction. Sebastian, Morris would like to ask you, how was your winter break? How did you approach the closing of your last chapter in order to start your new chapter full of energy? Um, well, obviously I didn't have a great season last year and it was a, a rather tough end to the season. But uh, the more, the closer the season was to an end, uh, the more I was looking forward to the next project. So um, obviously I had a bit of time in between, um, but uh, in my head I was very ready uh, let's say the last race to to look forward to the new project and uh, really getting started so it was actually the first of january where i officially started and uh, had i had my first meeting uh, with the team and uh, since then really have been trying to catch up because obviously every team operates a little bit differently um, so that was a big part of the winter but also uh, enjoying the kids enjoying home enjoying the family so uh, obviously there wasn't really an option to go anywhere <laughs> uh, for most of us, uh, I guess for all of us this year and this uh, this uh, or last year and uh, last winter. So, um, but I yeah, I really enjoyed being at home and recharging the batteries, getting fit and in shape to yeah enjoy the car. A question for both of our drivers from Glen M in Canada: uh, What's your favourite corner of the entire current Formula One calendar and why? Corner. It's a tough one. There's a lot of corners. <laughs> If I'd have to pick one, uh, Degner one, Suzuka, uh, Japan, it's pretty awesome. Turn in flat. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. turn in flat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my favorite track is Suzuka, so yeah. um, I guess it's because of That's the corners corner. there. That's it is amazing, corner. come corner. on. It is. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much, Lance. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, all of you, all over the world, for watching the launch of the Aston Martin Cognizant Formula One Team AMR21.